for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus' name, shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. You may be seated. Are you happy to be in the house of God? Can I see your joy if you are happy? Yes. There is nothing new except that we are here to share the love of God. There's nothing new. We are gathered here to share the love of God. Let me ask you this question. Are you a Christian by power or you are a Christian by membership or program? Hmm? Answer me. Are you a Christian by power or a Christian by membership or program? Hmm? By power. Are you sure? Are you sure you are a Christian by power? Yes. That is the message I want to bring to your attention. We Christians, we are more powerful here on earth and beyond the earth because we are calling the source of what? Life. Whether visible or invisible, it is from God Almighty. If you say you are a Christian without power, you are a human being without legs. If you say you are a child of God without the power of God, this is my simple inter you know, interpretation. You are a human being without what? Legs. You cannot move unless there's someone to call you. But if truly you are such a person in your heart, as you are confessing that you are a child of God by power, you are a human being with legs, let me say, we full of life. The life that cannot be limited by space or time. Because you are calling the nature of God. And in that nature of God, you are here to fulfill the purpose of your creation. If you are not a child of God by power, I don't know. Maybe the, the Bible will answer this question. The main purpose of this message is that I have discovered one thing. That... All of us here, even those who are not here, we are faking Christianity by confessing that you are a child of God without power. Even a Satanist cannot send to go and attack anyone without what? Power. What makes you to live that life of sin? It is the power of sin. And what can defeat sin in you is power from above. If your kidney, your liver, any part of your body is destroyed by evil power, when the power of God comes upon your life, the power of God can give you a new kidney without operation. What makes Moses to be a prophet is not because of the name Moses, but the power which came upon his life. Remember, Moses ran away from Egypt at first after killing that Egyptian. But when the angel of God appeared to him, power came upon his life. And he had that courage again to go back to the same country where they were, they were looking for him. People of God, I know that Christians, by confession, are many. But Christians by power, they are few. You may not agree with me, but the reality on the ground can prove you wrong. 
we Christians, we are dying like chicken every year. Evil people are causing accidents, killing us every year. Because we are not cutting the power to defeat their power. We are busy confessing what we are not cutting. You are there, you fear a witch. You fear a satanist. If the power of God is in you, why should you live in fear? Because power past power. What makes our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to defeat Satan is not because of the name Jesus. It's because of the name, I mean the power in the name of Jesus. We are calling the Bible, we are not calling the power of the Bible. What do I mean when I say that? If you know you carry this Bible without the Holy Spirit, you are just calling what? History. You are not calling Holy Bible. You are carrying the record, religious information. That's why even in this book, there are people they can call religious leaders. And prophet of God, apostle of God, and the religious what? Leaders. Praise the Lord. Let me take you to the book that you know. Let's go to Mark. I'll be very brief because of time. Mark chapter 16. I'll just pick the book that you know so that you, you get one or two things. But before I take you to that book, let me introduce the message. I, what makes me to start sharing this message, you know, about power, so that before I take you to Matthew. Let's go to Luke chapter 1. I'll just go direct to verse 19. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you'll be silent, not able to speak until the day this happened because you did not believe in my words which will come true at the appointed time. The purpose of this message people of God we are good in confessing Christ with our mouth but we are not patient enough to let him fulfill his promises in our lives the angel said to Gab I mean to Zachariah my name is Gabriel I stand in the presence of God meaning I have come with the message from God Almighty it's more like you are talking to someone who is from the state house. Hello, is that Mlenga? Yes. My name is in so -so -so. I am the one who is, you know, under uh, this and that at the state house. Oh, sorry, sir. Because I know that the person I'm talking, it's like I'm talking to the president. I'll humble myself and make sure that whatever this man will tell me to do, I have to obey because it is from above. If the president told that man to say, tell Mulenga that tomorrow or next week, I'm going to give him one million dollar because it is from state house, I am not going to doubt that man. This is why the angel introduced himself to Zachariah to say, my name is Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. Are you there? Are you there? This is the man who was barren for so many years. And this man happened to be one of the priests in the house of God. But he had a challenge of barrenness for so many years. But he did not give up because of that situation. He knew that the one that I believe, the one that I serve, is the one who answered by what? By signs and the wonders. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I stand in the presence of God. I have been sent to speak to you, to tell you this good news. Which good news? That your wife shall be pregnant. Look at the time. Look at the years. Your wife shall be what? And give you a son. And you are to call him John. 
What makes the angel to introduce himself? Because Zachariah was asking to say, look, look at my age and the age of my wife. What is impossible to man, it is possible to the power of God. What is difficult to you, it is not difficult to the power of God. This is my foundation before I take you to the area of scripture. Take note of Zachariah's life. I know there are ministers of God inside the church. There are believers inside the church of God. But as long as the power of God is not present, whatever you are doing, it's just a matter of time. But when power comes upon you, Abraham, at the age of 90 years, he became the father. Is it possible for a man who is at 90 to give birth? No. It is not. But with God, all things are what? Elole sapaba anaba kwe ta chinja kale kita. Filia fi nyari ya kale, efyo na elelo wale kita shani. Nga kwari obu ale pelo obu fiyashi mchungulo, na elelo ni nekutia mpelo obu fiyashi mchungulo. Nga kwari obu ale pelo nchito mwisa, na elelo ni nekutia chita shani. What is important is you to believe in him. The Bible says that this son shall follow those who believe. In my name, not any other name. The name Jesus carries what? Power. Let me ask you again this question. Are you a child of God by power or by membership? Hmm? Look at the way you are answering me. Hmm? By power. Ah. Is it true? But the way you are answering me is like you are doubting. Are you a Christian by power? Yes. Are you carrying power? Yes. But why is it that these demons are always using our body like wheelbarrows in the night? Feeding you every night. If the power of God is inside you, the power inside you cannot allow the devil to bring his nonsense in your body. A spiritual husband will come, sleep with you, and leave you wake up. Jesus, he has done it already. But if the power of God is inside you, there is no need for you to wake up for, so that you shout. Even in your dream, you can say, in the name of Jesus, you Satan, I rebuke you. Leave my body, and Satan will run away. But because we are not carrying power, we are carrying history. We are religious people. That's why you see Satan, is, even inside the church, people are calling evil power. This is not my first time of coming to Kabul. No, I've been coming to this uh, city. Except that this is not the venue that uh, you know we use. It's a different what venue. But I've been seeing you know punches inside the church. You say power, yes. After the message, okay, ten to your papers. Do you know me? Nde funyo muti manguri no kuri apa pene. We are faking Christianity. If you say you are a Christian, not because of your confession, by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of what? The Holy Spirit. There is no way you can say you are a child of God without the sign. You see a minister, you see flag on front of the car. That is constitution, the power of the land. When you are moving, the flame of fire must be on your forehead as a sign that this one is a child of God. It's untouchable. Don't even go near this one. But we carry this book 
Big word. Bible. Mwakwisa kuchenge. Without power. Satan can still use this same Bible as a table to give you poison. That is my problem now. That is my what? My problem. I don't know. Why are we faking our father in heaven? If the devil is real, then God Almighty is more real. If witches and wizards are real, then the power of God is more real. But why are we faking Christianity? It is very easy to preach the word in the flesh. It is not easy to preach the word in the spirit. Anyone can preach as long as you understand the language. You can gather people and start quoting Jesus walk on the water. Jesus did this. Walk on the water. If it is possible. As long as it is not the spirit, it is fake. It is history. It is record. God is real. And his power is real. Where are we getting all these fibroids? Kidney failure. Cancer. What makes that thing to be incurable is because of the spirit behind it. If it is just not natural, doctor can just prescribe a medicine to say, go and use this one. Before you know it, it is gone. But as long as there's a spirit eating your flesh, Chile chironda chikala chile kuri la kofie. Nga ma fai brozi ya kala lista shari. Yale furi la kofie. Because you are failing to contain the power. The power that can produce. The power that can create something within your system. Power pass what? He said your wife Elizabeth shall be what? Pregnant. And give you what? A child. And you are to call him. Who? Hmm? <laughs> Let's go to this book uh, that I quoted. Mark 16. I'll just go direct to the verse 17. And this sign will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will press their hands on the sick, and the sick people shall, shall get well. He said this sign, that is power. This what? That is what? Power. This sign shall follow those who believe. In my name, they shall lay hands on the sick people or cast out demons. Even if you drink poison, that poison cannot harm you. Because the power inside you is more than poison. Can you work against your source? The answer is no. Let's go to the book of Acts. I, I, I'm just speaking, you know, points. Acts chapter 2, the one that you know. Verse 1. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and come to rest on each of them. That is power. Sin is powerless if the spirit of sin is not connected to sin. It is very easy for you to say, No, It is very easy for you to say, No, but as long as there is a spirit of sin inside you, you cannot stop. When 
What made these people to be called apostles is not because of their names. It's because the power of God came upon their life. Why are we faking Christianity? It's because we cannot contain this power or attract the presence of God. The Bible says that where two or three gathered in my name, there I am. To solve our problem, to heal and deliver us from any evil spirit. We are here. Not because we are so special. No. assignment. You carry out that assignment. Jesus became Jesus because of what? Power. Apostle Paul became Apostle Paul because of what? Power came upon his life. Don't forget that you are also a power. Are you connected yourself to any you know, electricity? There is power inside you, energizing your body. God Almighty is real. Stop confessing what you are not calling. You are a minister of God like me. Devil can afflict you with BP. Sunday in the morning, you left with Pekan Yoko Yaku Church, Ashumba Muli BP. Because you are calling the Bible without power. He will put his nonsense in your system so that you cannot go and deliver the message of salvation to the children of God. What does it mean if you carry the machine? You are testing yourself. You acknowledge the power, the evil power to control the secretion of your blood. If you believe in Jesus, there is no need for you to carry any of this machine to keep on testing yourself. Testing your, I am not saying going to the hospital is a sin. Please quote me clearly. But accepting the affliction from the devil, that's where the problem is. Yes, you can be sick. Me too, I fall sick. I don't want to say this. Let me swallow it. I fall sick. But my strength is Jesus. Sometimes I wake up, I feel pain. This side, a very strong pain. I'm going to church to pray for people. Well, Africa was one. Oh, pastor, in pain in area post one, you're like kidding now. You're like Jesus. This is the same pain I was feeling in the morning. My kidney is okay. If they have been sent to confirm that he, my kidney is just okay, I'll pray for you. Your kidney will be okay. And I'll pray for that person. And Jesus will heal that person. But you know, if you are not calling power, you cannot understand what you are going through, what others are going through. For you to know the mind of God about your life, unless the power of God is in you. Are you there? I promise you that I'll be very brief. But this is my message until we enter 2020. Even beyond, because I have observed that we are preaching history, not the power of God. We need to do away with this. The world must know that God is real. I was listening one day to a, a, a live warning program in one of our local radio where disabled people complained against Pentecostal church to say, this is an insult. You go around with your mega, to pastor when I said it's true. There's no need for me to go around and say, come and uh, no. When one of us gets healed or delivered, you are a message to the society. Because you are calling the power of God. People will start asking you, what happens? Tell us. I encounter Jesus. Are you a child of God by power? Today, I said today, Gabriel appeared to Zachariah and he said your wife shall be what? Pregnant. 
and give you a son and you are to call him John. Zachariah said, no. Is it possible? A man like me at this age, we are old. Don't lose hope. The power of God is your hope. I said the power of God is your hope. The power of God is your hope. Zachariah entered the church and he saw an angel standing.
Jesus to be known all over the world. It's not because of money. It's power. In our lifetime, there's a man who has gone to be with the Lord. Just now, now, 2021. This man is known all over the world. We all know him. Not because of money. Because of what? Prophet T.B. Joshua is known all over. Even in his death, Everyone is claiming to be their spiritual father because of what? Power. There is no need for anyone to say, come here, come and do this. Let the power of God go out and tell the people that Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Power can, you know, introduce you to the queens and kings. Even if you are not educated. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Today, we are sharing the life of Apostle Paul. Is it because of money? Power. The church is no longer respected. Evil people are no longer afraid of the church. Because we are not carrying power. We are carrying history of the Bible. Anyone can preach history. But the power is from above. Anointing is from? If you see an angel appeared to where you are, know for sure that this is a, a holy place. Or oh, there is a man who is anointed. Hmm. What a life. Where you see an angel because of you, an individual, to come down and deliver the message of hope. The same angel that appeared to Zachariah is here today Amen. to deliver your message. Amen. I say, is here Amen. to deliver your what? Amen. Your message. Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Take the message now. I say, take the message. Take the message. Take the message. I said, take the message. 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 I said, take the message. Take it. Take it. Take the message. You are not there. I say, you are not there. Come on, come on, come on, take the message. Take it, take it. Oh, 